Hey everyone, it's Kim, the Homeschooling Grammy, and today we are going to take a look inside Master Books Practice Makes Perfect Level 3 Math. It is like the extra supplement that goes along with the Level 3 Math. I promised you we would take a look, so let's get started. Practice Makes Perfect Master Books Level 3. Um, and you can see all of the colorful little heart tablecloth around the book because we just got done celebrating a birthday this past weekend. My granddaughter had a birthday and it was so fun. So here we go. Scope and Sequence. Bring it up here so you can see it a little bit better. So as you can see, it goes through um, review of um, place value, odds and even numbers, money, addition, subtraction, measurement, word problems, multiplication, division. Um, so just a quick overview. And there's 30 lessons worth. There's also a quiz section and it tells you when to take the quiz. And of course, there's a solution manual in the back with the worksheet solutions and the quiz solutions. How cool is that? So here's the worksheet section. Um, over here it tells you, welcome to the practice makes perfect level three. It tells you how to implement it, the purpose and the goals of practice makes perfect. Um, some goals, tips and focus for review from lessons 31 through 36 and how to make the most of the review and a supply list which is really simple, just crayons, color pencils, bottle caps, scissors, you know, nothing too fancy schmancy. So we didn't do this place value thing because she already pretty much understood place value. So we skipped exercise lesson one. Um, so this is just for my own benefit, like I wrote when we started. But I'm, anyway, you're just going to give you an idea of what it looks like. Yes, she's already done some of these pages. It starts out really, really simple. So, just going to go through here. Measuring time. That's all kinds of good stuff in here. You know, like yesterday, today, tomorrow, column edition. So today we just got doing the, done doing this um, counting money. Um, but here you go. There's like plus or minus. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and kind of like give you an idea. Write the missing addition numbers in the box. Adding and um, subtracting larger amounts of money. We're going to kind of skip through again and here you have another more or less um, in this case you're going to do the addition and subtraction to fill in this chart and the first one is done for you so as you can see they're counting by um, tens here ten more ten less more addition rounding and then it starts getting into multiplication more multiplication which I'm, I like these um, worksheets because they're never the same. So it's not repetitive. Like you're not doing like the same kind of exercises over and over again. They really mix it up. Like this one, for instance, they're coloring by number um, with the correct multiplication answer from the, from the uh, thing on the bottom. So super cool. Here's a mutt multiplication. Let's practice our multiplication facts. Uh, multiply the numbers on the outside of the wheel by the number in the center and then put your answer on the outside circle. So see how they just make it fun. Like they do things all different kinds of ways. Area of rectangles and squares. Introduce and multiply and divide by three. Temperature, time. 
fractions, perimeter, more multiplying and dividing. And here you are like at around less than 20. Fractions, area, more money counting, games. So this is really cool. So in the middle of this book, there's a game and it's called Stephen's Trip to the Carnival. And it's in a math equation race game played with dice. Just so colorful and fun. Or all kinds of mixture here. They have addition and multiplication. And so you're drawing a line to match the multiplication problem to the addition problem that it's a equal to, which is really cool. And we actually did a little bit of that today. Weights and measurements, tally marks, addition and subtraction into higher numbers, measurement, multiple choice. So here's an example of here you have a ticket, would you measure that ticket in inches or yards? multiplication grids and for us this this particular master books math in general has really helped in math she has been a math struggler um, for us it has been a really good fit it has really made a huge difference for her and having this extra workbook has even been better um, because it gives her more practice and I don't necessarily match up what we're doing in our regular math lesson with what's in this book. I don't care if they match because I think that, um, you know, learning different things all the time is a good thing. Um, and so we kind of go in and out of different concepts so that she doesn't forget. Place value. And I can show you. Okay, so here are the quizzes. It starts the quiz. Um, let me see. When did it start? It must have started back here. Here we go. Quiz number one. So here would be quiz number one and what it would look like. Mental math, add and subtract, measurement, time, rounding, and then I'll take you to the last quiz to give you an idea what the last quiz would be like. Which would be quiz number four. Yes, quiz number four. So on quiz number four, it's Roman numerals. Multiply and divide each number by seven. Multiply and divide each number by eight. Fill in the area and perimeter of each of these shapes. Um, and then divide each of these shapes to match the fractions below. So really, really nice practice book. And then of course you have the solutions manual in the back. So for everything that you've done, there is an answer, which makes it nice if you want to not have to figure it out for yourself <laughs> and be lazy, which sometimes that's what I want to do. Okay, so I hope that that was a blessing to you. I know I kind of went through kind of quickly, but, um, you know, it's kind of pretty self-explanatory. And anyway, so that's Practice Makes Perfect by Masterbooks Level Free. God bless. Take care. And I'll talk to you again soon.